here we are on floor two. We're gonna head and do the usual. Uh, if you're wondering, I did not get I did not get anything good from Chaser, other than another two DVM missions ring. So that's really about it. Anyways, normally you would have to do light bearing, but since I'm ice, I don't have to do that. I'm gonna walk all the way over there, go up that little cliff. Nope, I just ice skate right into the city. I personally find it pretty boring just uh, watching somebody walk towards the lamps. So what I'm going to do is after I turn on the library lamp, I'm going to do like a little lamp montage and me just turning on all the lamps and then you'll see me get it thrown. on. So anyway, um, here's where we're going to use my bell run it back. Now I have the variant where I don't take damage while it's active, which is actually pretty good. I didn't realize until I was using it against Chaser. And, oh, well, I already fucked up. Yeah. It's too late. All right, let me go ahead and just do it normally. I'm not gonna wait out for my bell. Okay, I guess I can't no clip. I guess I can't no clip. There we go. It's like, it's a buggy game too. All right, here we are at trap room. We're gonna go ahead and start this. Right now I have 57 medallions. So let's go ahead and do this. And just solo. It should be a crawler. Yeah, I heard it. I don't know why I said that's so delayed though. All right, it's this last dude here. What if we need mantras for him? There we go. All right, that's five medallions right there. Let's track again. Go, brute's dead. I'm not really worried. I'm not gonna wipe here. Go ahead and get rid of this little brawler. And there we go. That's all of them dead. And I'm gonna take all this. And now we have 67 medallions plus the 54 I already have in stock as well. And I'll see you guys once I get that thrown. All right, here we are at the run. Uh, for some reason, my, my layer 2 is like really, really dark, as you can see. I kind of like it, though. It's actually pretty cool. Alright, so let's start Etheron. I breathe out. There we go. Then here comes the big boy. Like, I don't really mind it being this dark. I feel like for some people, they might have a problem with it. But for me, it's actually pretty okay. Right, here we got the bones already. Take this one. Got another wave coming in. Already the ultimate. If you did not know, these like little purple orbs here on the first floor, on the spawn on the first floor, you break all three, it cancels ultimate, but since I'm solo, I don't have enough time to actually do that, and I have a way better idea instead. Alright. Now I'm waiting for the last bone to come through. So we're gonna head to the second floor. Pretty please. Thank you, Akron. Okay, it's a bit laggy. Should be behind me. Yep. Jump over the little bone spikes. I'm actually gonna let this come at me so I can get a bone. Okay, and now I'm gonna go up here. Aw oh, man, that hit me. Okay, first bone in for the second floor. And here comes the ultimate again. Like, I really wish they gave enough time to break it as solo, but you just don't make enough time. It's really unfortunate. Alright, let's go ahead and head to the second uh, bone block. I don't know what to call it, actually. That's unfortunate. It's a good thing we 
it over here. Uh -oh. Okay, he didn't break none of the bones, thankfully. I'll pair these to refresh. Alright, I just need the first one. I'm gonna get my posture back here. Alright, so now I'm gonna grab this one. Put it in there. Okay, stairs right there. Pick up this bone. for the company. Alright. Not, not a huge dent in my armor to be honest. Which is pretty good. Now, there's a bone wave underneath me as well, so it's a good thing I left the second floor when I still have a chance. Okay, we're gonna come to the left here. I'm right, gonna wait right here. There we go. He's probably gonna slam, yep. Do some damage right there. This one in. I didn't have to grab these. Now I'm thinking about it. I would have had enough time to pick these up. And I probably would have had time to cancel the ultimate by putting this last final bone in. But it's pretty much fine. Like, it's not that, that big of a hassle. Alright. Pop ice cubes. Put the bone in. Lost my chain, but it's okay. Gotta get to his hand here. And he should be dead pretty soon here if these ice cubes again. My heart kinda dropped. I thought I wasn't gonna get the one cycle. Okay. So we got uh, metal enchant. Shoot, why not? not the best thing in the world, honestly. Now we're just gonna get out of here and that's it. Now this part usually causes like a lot of people stress, but something you should always know is it's always gonna spawn like a couple of seconds behind you. So like. Once you hear this, the sound charging up, you can just quickly dash and you should be able to avoid it pretty easily. Like just normal walking and stuff won't really get you wiped. I, I feel like this is like the main part people are scared of when doing floor 2. Because Etheron himself is not hard, it's just the escaping to like the floor yard. Especially like what, ter terrain like that, it can be really tough. So right here, you're gonna want a glacier arc. Walk forward, take it very tippy top, and your ice get across. These snipers can't hurt you. You're gonna be all right. And the bombs won't even reach you as well, since you're moving pretty fast. You can hear them try to catch up to you, but they can. And yeah, that's my PVE build versus floor two. So yeah, guys. That was my PvE build versus floor 2. As you can see, we walked away with 99 medallions. Well, actually, we walked away with like 67, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I'll look back at the video recording and I'll like, ed editor me will fact check it. But yeah, we got the max cap medallions and I don't know what to do with this at all. Cause like my build's already min max to the max. So, I mean, I could get iron sing and stuff like that, but I'm not gonna do that. But other than that, hope you guys enjoyed the video and let me know if you guys want me to do more PvE challenges.